Let me tell you all a short story. When I first moved to the United States from Cameroon in 2013, I experienced serious hate. It made me to think that I was not good enough. This hate did not come from white people. It came from black people. People I thought I could relate with more. People I strongly believed based on the fact that they looked like me, that they were gonna show me love. But they were the ones that treated me badly the most. Why? My black Americans, why? What did we ever do to you guys? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has experienced that kind of treatment from other black people. We love you guys. If anything, we would love to have you back in the continent, but now say Tin the Nodi Waka. Now why that will come for you for come with Una? I bet when I begin to calm down, when I show we love. I see videos like this from Africans all the time. Now, I don't usually see videos like this from Caribbeans, but I guess maybe like rarely, but not often, right? So again, I see these videos from Africans all the time, and they always follow this same script. I moved to the United States. White people were nice to me. Black Americans were mean to me, right? And it's like, what? You know what? So I figured it was finally time to respond to this. The first thing she says as she opens up this video is the fact that she moved from Cameroon to the United States in 2013 and that when she got here, white people were nice to her and black people were mean to her. And this confused her because she thought that black people would be nice to her based off the fact that we look alike, you know? So she thought that she had more in common with us, right? Now, this confuses me in and of itself because she's from Cameroon. Now, hold up. Let me look something up real quick. Cameroon consists of 240 different tribes okay now let's just pretend for a second say you took one person out of each and every one of those tribes and you lined them up right and you gave me a list of those tribes and you said flower tower identify which person comes from which tribe i'll be like huh first of all i didn't even know these folks was cameroonian much less what tribe in cameroon right but this is my point despite the fact that you all look the same y'all got all these similarities in how y'all look Y'all don't view each other the same, do y'all, right? So it's very interesting when Africans come from a place where there are so many divisions between people who look the same and pretend, pretend that they came to the United States of America singing Kumbaya. Are you kidding me? You come from a place with 240 tribes, but I'm supposed to believe that you came to the United States talking about, oh, we all look like we all the same. Are you kidding me? That's not even believable, right? Then I went and I Googled ethnic conflicts in Cameroon, right? And y'all, I learned a lot in them 30 seconds, right? So when most of us think of Cameroon, we think of French. Like, come on, like, parlez-vous français, like, or whatever. Come on now, right? But apparently there's an English-speaking minority, right? And the Francophonian Cameroonians, they are exterminating the Anglophone ones, right? I kid y'all not. Like, literally, the article I was reading said they're in the ninth stage of a genocide. The tenth stage is when you deny that it ever happened, right? They're in the end stages of a literal genocide, right? That's what they are doing in Cameroon to other Cameroonians who look just like them. If you asked me to look at a Cameroonian from this tribe versus that tribe, an Anglophone one versus a Francophone one, I'd be like, what are you talking about, right? They look just like each other, right? But then they will come to the United States and pretend that they were all hugging and holding hands and kissing each other in Africa and that they came to the United States with this idea of, oh, we look alike, so we're one. Are you kidding me? That's the first thing that always sticks out to me when Africans make videos like this. They always claim that they came to the United States like, oh yeah, you know, like the black Americans looked like me. So I was shocked when they were mean to me. You come from a place where there are literal genocides occurring because somebody is of a different tribe. Somebody can look just like you, but because they're not of the same tribe, because they don't speak the same language, you will kill them. And you expect me to believe that you came to the United States with this mentality of, oh, we look alike, so we should all be friends. That's not even logical. That's, that doesn't even make sense, right? It just, you know, who is falling for this, right? Let's look at what actually happens when these people come to the United States, right? 
People really want to admit this, but the truth that many of us already know and are gaslit about when we speak of is that many black people that immigrate to America tell their children, either overtly or covertly, that you must not appear to be culturally black. And more specifically, African American. Whether that be physically or otherwise, so don't wear prominently known African American hairstyles, style of dress, or use their vernacular. The reason behind this is a conversation on its own. But imagine a child being taught that traditional African hairstyles like cornrows or even box braids are a low class form of expression and at every turn of the subject are denigrated. Not just within the world, not just within the community, but within your household. Now, that is a Bayesian woman, and she has another flag in her bio, but I'm not sure what that one is, right? But she's talking about the fact that when these people come to the United States, they are literally told that black Americans are beneath them. Everything about us, that, you know, our, our dialect is ghetto, the way we style our hair, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I want to point out the fact that she claimed that these were traditional African hairstyles, but they're not. Y'all was not box braiding in Africa, boo. Let's get that out the way. Let's acknowledge the fact that a lot of these hairstyles came from black Americans, but that's besides the point that's not even the main you know focus of this video right my point is she acknowledges something that a lot of africans and caribbeans have begun to admit the fact that they are told things like stay away from the akata come on now y'all made a whole song called stay away from the akata about how y'all parents tell y'all to stay away from us we're beneath you you're better than us etc 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 then you will turn around and claim that black americans were mean to you not the other way around like huh now hold up let's get to thank you hold up like we about to thank some big brain thoughts or whatever, right? The United States is a racial society, okay? There is a racist white majority. Therefore, black people in the United States, which is, you know, until recently African-Americans, because the rest of y'all just started coming here recently, right? So the actual black Americans, not those of y'all who just got here, right? We've never had the luxury of being tribalistic because we live in a society where black is all that matters, right? So black people in America, black Americans, the real black Americans, right? We are forced to identify with other black people in order to survive our common enemy of this racist white supremacy that's burning crosses on our lawn, right? We don't have the luxury of being tribalistic, right? On the other hand, Africans come from countries where, you know, they don't have to, you know, identify and unify with each other based off of blackness, right? So they don't, right? So in Africa, even though they're all black, they don't identify with each other because they're black. They don't look at each other and say, wow, we're all black. Let's stick together. No. Instead, they torture each other and commit genocides against each other because of different tribes, right? Africans have never viewed people who look similar to them as the same. Come on, let's be honest, right? So when they get online talking about they got to the United States singing Kumbaya, I can't even like take that seriously because clearly that is not rooted in any fact, right? And then there's something else I have to bring up. You telling me you got to the United States and not only was you allegedly singing Kumbaya with, with all black people, even though that's something y'all don't even do in Africa, right? But white people were just so nice to you, just so awesome, just so G Willikers, like pip pip cheerio, mate. That's what you're telling me, right? These videos come off as very seriously white worshiping because there's just no way this actually happened, right? Now, mind you, I grew up in Detroit, so I went to Detroit public schools. I attended school with all African-Americans, right? And for that, I am very blessed, right? But whenever I talk to an African-American who went to a white school, you know, a school that was full of white kids, they talk about how racist those kids were. You know how they, they make monkey sounds, call them the N-word, ooga-booga, stuff like that, right? So you're telling me that white kids treat black American kids like that, but they don't treat Africans like that. Come on, so white kids will tell a black American kid to go back to Africa, knowing we ain't never been to Africa, and they the ones who brought us here, hold up, right? But they won't tell an African to go back to Africa. That's what you're telling me. you telling me you got here and white people just treated you so awesomely. That's not even believable. And that's how you know these videos are literally just lies. These people are lying. They are white worshiping. It's just something they do to, I don't even know. I don't even know. But these videos are not rooted in any sort of fact. Then she goes on to say, we love you guys. If anything, we would love to have you back on the continent. Well, first of all, I don't believe Africans can love anybody because they don't love themselves. 
you not even on the continent you talking about we would love to have you back on the continent which continent because baby you're in the u.s of a you're on the north american continent not on the african continent but you telling me that i should go back to the continent you're not even there right that's so crazy you all don't even love yourselves literally in cameroon where she is from there is currently a genocide occurring you don't even like the Cameroonians next door to you, but you expect me to believe that you love me. That's not even believable. Again, what I keep telling y'all is that these people are not grounded in any sort of reality or anything. They just talk because they like the feeling of the wind on their gums, I suppose, because none of this is factual. None of this is realistic. It's just, it's all made up. Then in the end of this video, this woman stopped speaking English and started speaking some random Ubegwe talk. I have no idea what she said, right? But that raises a point. This video is allegedly to black Americans, right? So, so she made this video talking about black Americans. Why did you treat me like this? We love you, yada, 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 right? But then she starts speaking some random language that black Americans do not speak. That in fact, most of Cameroon probably don't even speak because all y'all speak a different tribal language. Most of Africa don't even speak. You know what I'm saying? So who were you talking to? You were not talking to black Americans, right? And this is the thing. This is the thing. This is a very like, this is a very um in your face example of the fact that a lot of times people aren't actually trying to have a conversation with you, right? If this woman was actually trying to converse with black Americans, then she could have just finished the video off in English and said whatever she had to say, right? But she wasn't actually trying to converse with us she was just on here talking shit because that's what these people do and they try to paint it as if they're the victim somehow